Welcome back. Now, Dream Big is a charity event by the Doily Foundation and the National Youth Orchestra. It will be held on Saturday, the 18th of August at the Atlas Studios in Mill Park, Johannesburg. Sophia Wells is the Managing Director of the South African National Youth Orchestra Foundation and Elsby Zitzman, founder of the Doily Foundation. We're also joined in studio by music students, Naledi Dweba, who plays the saxophone, and Thomas Dweba, the viola. And of course, they are brothers. A very good morning to everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It's lovely to be with you. Let me start with you, Alzebi. Let's yes. talk about the Dream Big um, event. What is it about, essentially? It is a huge celebration, and everybody that is working with us on, on this production is just so generous with their time, with their, with their produce, with their everything. And it's, um, I, I, I can't think of any charity uh, function that has ever had the 80-piece South African sure. National Orchestra performing. And then they are performing with these amazing people. Mark Lottering is the MC for the evening. Um, Gloria Bosman, Nina Antlope, um, Kuni de Villiers will be performing with the orchestra. Amazing thing is, is that it is a piece that was specially written for uh, a future project that we're working on. Um, will be performed by the orchestra, okay. the composer will be there, and Nina will t actually tell the story that it was written for. So we're terribly excited about Yo, that. Oh, what a feast. Yep, what a yep. feast. Like, that's one to definitely look forward to. Sophia, 80 piece orchestra. One can only imagine uh, the panic that goes on in the lead up to this. Tell us about the preparations. I've been doing it for a while, so I'm oh, less so you, panicked. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm less panicked and much more excited. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a logistical um, thing because you get everybody from Kruenstadt to the West Coast to PE to Cape Town to Joburg to Durban to everywhere. And they come from every background. Um, and so it's wonderful to actually see them come together and form this thing that is very South African. Right. Um, and I think that we don't have enough pride in who we are. So when I look at that, I always mm. feel this sort of, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, we can do this, guys. Right. We, can, we can actually be totally fantastic. And I think the energy from that gives me a lot of, um, yeah, hope. Right. I know it's, it's sort of cheesy, right? But that's exactly what happens is you just feel this warmth. Warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah. We can do it. We are doing it. And people who are, are doing it, it is Naledi and Thomas, uh, the brothers who are joining us in studio this morning. Uh, Naledi, let me start with you. What attracted you, first of all, uh, into this genre? Um, I fell in love with music when my parents passed away. And it was my only hope in life that I could keep on going. And I started the, at the Hillbro Outreach Foundation at the Hillbro Theatre and then I went to the National School of the Arts and I'm currently doing my fourth year at the University of the Free State. Oh, awesome. Thomas, yeah. it's so rare to see brothers who have the same kind of love and same kind of passion. Uh, would you say what inspired him is what inspired you or you have a different story? Yes, but uh, I do mostly, uh, I, I make um, mo modern music. I, I compose modern music. But I do play a lot of instruments. My brother made me start playing instruments because of him, I'm playing the viola today. Right. But I'm more into composing modern music and yes. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes uh, people will say, um, Elzebi, that this is perhaps for the sophisticated ear. So uh, who, who goes uh, and watches uh, an orchestra? Who should consume it? Is there even such a thing? Or open yourself up to new experiences. Come and consume beautiful music. That is exactly what it is. I think you answered your question yourself. <laughs> um, it is about beautiful music, and, and it doesn't matter what the genre is. I sometimes have a little bit of a problem with his genre. I don't always find it so, so easy to listen to. Mm. But as long as one, one keeps your, your mind open and just absorb, then all music is beautiful. Mm. Mm. It truly is. And, and it, it's got healing powers. It's got incredible healing powers. 100%. Yeah. Sophia, um, the Gauteng Opera uh, shuttered stores uh, earlier this year. Uh, what does that speak to? Is the arts under threat in the country? I think that, you know, people think that art is expensive and it is expensive. You know, music lessons are expensive. To run an opera company is expensive. Um, but I think that the cost of losing such a thing is far mm. greater. Mm. And we don't see that immediately. Mm. And um, this fundraising concert, and it's also an auction, and it's also the most delicious food, by the way, but we'll get and to drink. that. And drink, <laughs> but we'll get to that. Um, this 
is about us also as artists saying, we need to make our way, we need to make something great, and because we've got talent in putting together a fantastic show, mm -hmm. we know we can deliver that. So mm -hmm. we've asked many kind artists who've donated their time to make sure that it is something that we as artists can earn our own money through. Mm -hmm. you know? So I think mm -hmm. that's quite important as well, mm -hmm. to show people we're doing the thing that we know how to do best. Um, and by supporting the arts, by buying one of these tickets, for instance, mm -hmm. you're contributing to not only Naledi and Thomas who are sitting here, but also to a host of other mm. young musicians. And I think young musicians really have so many beautiful skills and they understand how to cross so many barriers. They're so good at communicating and understanding people. So the soft skills that these young people learn mm. through doing an arts program make them much better people and citizens for our country. Mm. So I'm very worried about what is happening in the arts in this country. I think it's very scary being an artist. And it's sad because we not only participate on, but we dominate world stages. Right. And I mean, do. just thinking about Vuyani Dance Theatre, I think at some point last year, I noticed they were in six different cities in the world. Mm. Um, and that's again what I was saying about pride, about having some kind of, wow, we've got this, we mm. can do this. Mm. And it would be wonderful if South Africans would support it. I think the National Youth Orchestra being the national team, we're green and gold, we're mm. proteas, just like mm. the rugby team or the right. cricket team or right. the hockey team, right. but like banyana banyana, not bafana bafana, of course, right? Of course, because we always win. Really <laughs> always win. Um, <laughs> but I just sure. those places. <laughs> <laughs> so let me come to you, uh, <laughs> Naledi and Thomas, and we talk about the work that actually goes into it. Let's talk about the discipline, the sacrifices, everything that you put uh, into actually going up there on that stage and making people happy. I'll start with you, Naledi. It's all about dedication and discipline, as you said, and you know, just putting in a lot of hours to practice every day and to make sure you are upgrading your grades and music and doing it to the best of your abilities because it's a very challenging career mm -hmm. to do. One of the most difficult careers in the world, and you've got to show people that you can perform, and people must see that you actually can do it and not just that they know that you can do it. They yeah. must see yeah. as well yeah. yeah yo the pressure thomas yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 my brother is right it's, it takes practice and a lot of time and passion as well if you're passionate about it then no one can step on your shoes mm. yeah we're so proud of you uh, and we can't wait to see you young people doing amazing things south Thank africa you. man hey yeah. okay? yep so uh, yep. let's talk about dates uh tickets where do you purchase your tickets and prices and all that good stuff okay the date is next saturday 18th the august. 18th of august and atlas studio has given their studios for us for free um and the tickets you can be uh can be purchased on the internet at tixa that's t-i-x S-A, mm -hmm. TIXA, mm -hmm. um, but you don't need to buy a ticket. You can also just make a donation. You don't, but you're going to miss out if you don't come to the fun function right. because <laughs> it, it truly is going to be amazing. Um, Arnold Tanser is doing the food for us. The Arias is giving us the wine and the gin. Um, there's beautiful art that has been donated that will be auctioned by Susie Goodman from Strauss and Company. Um, one big celebration on the 18th of August called Dream Big. Good art, good food, good gin. What more can you offer? Oh, there, <laughs> there is more. There is more. Oh, there's but there's one more. more thing. Give it to you us. Can give that win, ah. You can win two tickets um, to any KLM destination in Europe. Oh, lovely. Uh, 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 lovely. So that's what I'm going for. <laughs> I will be sitting there going, we see let's you. go on holiday. We see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, though, for coming through. Guys, we can't wait to see. Like, your stars are rising, and we just can't wait to see you dominate that world stage. All the best to you guys and Thank ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank uh, you. This morning and congratulations on this uh, we really really can't wait on the 18th of August you can still get your tickets or you can make uh, your donation a big thank you to all my guests Sophia Wells, Elzebe Zitzman and music students Naledi and Thomas Dweber.